Hey everyone, welcome to my quick tutorial on how to set up Streamlabs OBS. So to start, you're going to want to download it. So we're going to go to our browser, and we're just going to go to streamlabs.com. Uh, you're going to log in to get started. I'm going to log in with my Twitch. Uh, once you're logged in, if you just go to the top left here, you should be able to see it says download now. So click download now, finish the installation, and when you have your Streamlabs OBS downloaded, we can run it. Let's check for updates. And here we are. Okay, so here's the client. I'm just going to walk through the navigation quickly. Uh, along the top, we have dashboard, library, editor, live. Uh, we have dark on night modes, bug report. This will uh, this will open a uh, your browser. Uh, Discord is an online chat um, platform. Uh, I highly recommend it if you use online comms. It's really good. Uh, we have settings and. Uh, you have your sign in. Uh, we'll go over settings in a second. But on the bottom here, we have the CPU load. Uh, so it just mine's at 3%, 3.4%. We have the FPS it's set up. Yours might be set up to 60, but we'll run over how to set that down to 30 in seconds. Uh, we have your dropped frames um, amount and your upload amount, up rate, or sorry, upload rate. Um, so this is your notifications window here. Uh, this shows if there's any problems with any of the computer performance uh, and then the bottom right now we have test widgets record and go live okay so we're going to get straight to it uh, we're going to go to settings and just set it up so most of the settings you want to keep the same uh, if you go to stream uh, just make sure your service is set to the service you want to use so i'm going to be using twitch uh, my stream keys already automatically up uploaded into that space so if it's not you can go online and get it uh, but your output uh, I've got it set up to software, but yours may look like this at the start. Um, I did some research because I was lagging in it whilst I was playing Overwatch and streaming at the same time. So um, if you switch your encoder to software, uh, enable advanced encoder settings, and along the list, just uh, I choose ultra fast so that my computer performance isn't altered at all um, by the by my stream. Like it, so, yeah, I run it on ultra, ultra fast. I've got like a mid-tier system. Um, I've got an eight-core processor, and I still like like lagging games, so that's why I've got it set up like that. Uh, so just you can just change your recording path here too. Uh, I've got mine set up into my E drive rather than my SSD drive. So your audio, um, I'll have mine on default. Uh, you can select it to however you want it. So when I sometimes I'm playing through my um, some things, you can play through different audio. Uh, so I have to put mine on default at the moment. Go to video. So this yours may look like this, uh, like this. So you want to switch your your canvas resolution up to get a max uh, outscaled resolution. So you want to do that, and then you can switch your canvas resolution back down, which will give you uh, optimal computer performance. Uh, you can also just leave it at 1080, um, so you can see exactly what you're streaming. But this way you're increase your low will decrease the CPU load so down the bottom here we want to change the 60 frames to 30 frames as uh, twitch only runs at 30 frames so the hotkeys we can uh, set up uh, I just want to mention inside the scene so like this is how streamers switch between their, their scenes quickly uh, using just using hotkeys so in advanced um, we want to leave everything the same again uh, we got stream delay on down here. Uh, I've got it set to 45 seconds. So you have overlays, notifications you want to leave on, um, and appearance. It's just personal. Okay, so we're gonna get straight into it. Uh, we're gonna create a new scene, and we're gonna call it. Uh, I'm gonna call it Overwatch in game. Okay, I'm gonna add a source, and I'm gonna start with all my widgets first. So alert box. Uh, we're just going to call this main alert box. You don't have to change the name. So I'm going to click done here and just resize it. It should keep its aspect ratio by itself. So I'm just going to center it. Uh, that's pretty close. Okay, so if you click go to main uh, widget or go to widget settings, that will take you to your dashboard and it will take you to your widget settings, which is under widgets. Uh, and you go to alert box. Uh, so this is your widget settings. I'm going to turn my delay all the way down, and I'm going to turn. Uh, so I'm going to turn my delays all the way down. And I'm just going to save them. 
Okay, so I'm going to go to follows now. So your follow default might look very similar to this. Um, so I've got it enabled at the top. I'm just leaving the layout how it is. Uh, my alert animation is to fade in and fade out. Uh, my message is just leaving it as it is. Okay, so I'm going to change my media here. I'm going to change my image and select uh, a stock image. And I have a Mordekaiser rocking out on the guitar here. So this is my Mordekaiser. I've changed the sound. Uh, you just do the same thing. You just change media and go to stock files and sounds. Uh, so I'm just going to turn it down a little bit so it's not too loud. I'm going to turn the duration up just by one second. And, and I'm going to have no delay on it so it comes up straight away. Um, you can change your font settings here and your alert variations. Um, so like if you wanted uh, to have more than just one guy coming up for your, uh, like so it goes through a cycle, that's pretty cool too. So I'm just going to save them settings. Okay, we can just check that works now by going to editor. Uh, at the bottom here we have test widgets and I'm just going to test it. So he's working. Uh, I have set up my uh, subscription and donations. So there's my subscription. Uh, there's my donation. So they're working. So we're going to add a follower goal now. So just going to add, go and click uh, the plus button on sources again. Go to uh, follower goal. I'm just going to add the source. So follower goal, that's fine. So I'm just going to go straight to widget settings this time. Uh, so yours will may look like this. So I'm just going to um, set up my April follower goal of 250 followers with a starting amount of 75. And I want it to finish on the last day of April. So that is that. And that's set up. So now I go to settings. And I want it to have it condensed. I've changed the colours a little bit to make it a little bit more bright and a little bit more popping. You know, I might put the thickness down and uh, maybe put it up a bit more, yeah. I'm just going to save them settings and we go to our editor and bang, that's our follower goal. So we just put that wherever we want it. Uh, we'll try to censor that too. Uh, it's pretty close. A bang on. I'm just going to drop that there. Okay, so that's there. Uh, now I'm going to add a an event list. So these are the ones I use. These are the main widgets I would be using. So we're just going to go straight to widget settings. Uh, so I'm just going to leave all the the settings the same for the moment. But uh, for my theme, uh, let's just switch it to whatever you want. So chevrons, uh, color. Let's make it. Okay, we can make it blue. Blue is quite nice, or like an like an orange. Orange, pretty nice too. Oh, that's bright. That's nice and vibrant. Oh, that's really vibrant. I'd say, what's blue look like? Okay, yeah, blue's good. Okay, so just scroll down. I'm gonna leave it the events that is as it and leave it as the events as it is at the moment. Um, <laughs> this is like a weird way to say that. I'm just gonna leave it as it as it is at the moment, and I'm gonna turn down the max events to three. Uh, animation speeds. Uh, I'm gonna put to 2500, and I'm gonna flip it Y at the end so that it goes from the bottom to the top rather than the top to the bottom. So I'm just gonna save them and go to my editor again. Now we have an events list. So on the bottom of here again, we just click test wid widgets. We hide them, but we're going to test some. So there's a follow, subscription, and then we have a sub coming up there, and a donation. We have another donation coming up there. We could do like a bit. And then there's our bit. We haven't sort done our bits yet, but our bits come up on our event list. So we can make that nice and small. Put that in the corner there somewhere. And so it's got its own little space. Uh, okay, so now we're going to add the the main components, which are going to be the sounds and the desktop. So uh, you can add games individually with game capture or window capture. Uh, so I can show you window capture quickly and just show you that I could add um, anything that has a window. Uh, that is a window. Okay, and I can just choose uh, anything that's a window essentially. Um, 
So we're going to cancel that because that's not what we want. Um, or game capture as the same thing. So any games that are running, but we're going to use display capture because that's what I record. I record my whole desktop uh, and just run everything off my second monitor uh, that I want my stream my viewers to look at. So I'm going to call this my screen and just select the right monitor or the right display. And this is the fun bit of lining this up. So it should stay in aspect ratio. It's just about getting them into them corners. Once you think you've got it in a corner, you can just try snapping it. And if it snaps on both sides, you've done a pretty good job. Because it looks like it's the same on both sides. Okay, cool. So that's that done. As you can see here now, look, my, everything's been covered up. So I'm going to drag on under my source, I'm going to drag my screen to the bottom. So that uh, all everything's on top. I'm going to drag my alert box to the top, just because I want that up there. And my event list can stay there. That's good. So now we want to make sure that all the sound that's being recorded uh, is going to be uh, recorded through the client, so that my uh, viewers can hear it too. So we're going to do audio input capture. Um, oh, sorry, that's for external microphones. Actually, we're going to do audio output capture and call this my sound. I'm going to set this to default uh, because our default, I'm just going to drag my sound down to my screen and I'll show you uh, the default sound if you go to settings and you go to audio and your default sound is your desktop audio one which is my default here so uh, that's my default if I uh, my mic is automatically recorded in the as you can see here um, it's automatically recorded Um, so I don't need to add my microphone in, but if you wanted to add a second microphone in, so I just had a mem like a quick blur there. But if I wanted to add a microphone in, I could do it through an audio input. Uh, if you wanted to record an external audio input, you could do it through there. If you want to add any text, you uh, would add it through here too. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's um, that's your stream up and running. I'll just show you this. So I'll minimize this. Now you can see the extent of the the program run its run its business. So, uh, just to quickly further this one, actually. So now we have Overwatch in game. Uh, so say if you have a set up like this, just so you can see what's going on. Uh, I might want to cover my chat box with oh my bad with the content. So I'd put that there. So duplicate this and call this Overwatch out game. So now we have two things. Uh, so that's one scene and out of game I might want this down here like this and so that's a really quick way of just showing um, the difference uh, like in scenes you can make and just keeping all your widgets on the same page so you don't have to re reconfigure them all uh, and re-add them into by your sources so thanks very much for watching guys um, hope this has helped uh, anything else I can help with just leave a comment in the comments section below uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible uh, but yeah, this is how it been how to set up your streamlabs for OBS and running it on Twitch. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, speak to you soon.